Well, the top of the second division, unchanged, because while Watford were winning so impressively there, Luton were doing likewise away to Wrexham, with Sheffield Wednesday going third after beating Oldham. Well, there's no disputing who were the two happiest men at Vicarage Road in Watford yesterday. Chairman Elton John and uh, manager Graham Taylor. Elton, you've, you've flown in, I think, from Paris for this. They're almost sort of day trips, aren't you? They're living, living in Paris and coming across for the game. Well, I'm sort of commuting because I'm in the middle of maybe one or two albums. Uh, and I try and get back for as many games as possible in between recording schedules. And uh, it's always nice to come back to the club anyway. But when we play like that, it's even doubly nice. But uh, it's important for me to, back, to be back at the club as much as possible. Yes. I mean, a lot of people say it must be a hell of a drag with scheduled airlines and airports and one thing or another. Is that the way you do it? or Sometimes. I got a private jet today because there were six or seven of us and um, members of the band wanted to come over and see the game. But um, it's, um, I don't mind paying out for a private jet if we play like that, you know. Otherwise, it comes out the manager's way. <laughs> <laughs> and in his present mood, I think, seeing his side play today, you wouldn't mind paying that, I think, Graham. It was, it was some performance. Yes, it was excellent. I mean, I came to the game on a bike. But I mean, <laughs> we were club well bike together. is the club bike. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, no, very, very consistent performance. I mean, it's been coming. Um, but the pleasing thing today was that it went right through the 90 minutes, apart from the little period of time we were a little bit disturbed with injuries, but very, very happy and very, very pleased. Yes. I think in, a, in an area, Elton, in, in the game where people are talking ludicrously about million pound transfers and so on. You as chairman must be delighted in the way the youngsters are coming through so well for your club. Uh, it's, it's, it is a ludicrous system, uh, the transfer system at the moment. I don't believe anybody's worth a million pounds, uh, not even, you know, entertainers. Uh, uh, <laughs> really? No, sincerely, yes. Uh, and it's great to see young players that have been nurtured from the word go come through. You get a little sp uh, tingling up your spine when you see them play so well. And certainly the young players today did superbly well. I mean, you think of Kenny Jacket and you think mm. of Steve mm. Terry and people will think of Nigel Callaghan. But I think most people who watched it today will think of the other lad, the 17-year-old John Barnes. Yeah. Tell me in the first place, Graham, how did he come to join the club? Well, you know, you get your stroke of good fortune and uh, a supporter, in fact, phoned up the club and said that a friend of his had seen a young boy that he thought was well worth watching. We went and watched him. Um, we saw him. We gave him half a game. <laughs> we hid him. <laughs> and signed him <laughs> as quickly as we could. You don't need to be an expert, you see. And people turn around and say, uh, well, look at that, how did they get him? You don't need to be an expert. You see it, you get it. You don't mess about it. Yes, tell me about this now. Well, he has an awareness. He has a touch on the ball. He knows what he's doing. Got a little bit of a break, but reacts quickly and then sees people. Sees people there. Just yeah. gets that little bit extra. Uh, and he'll be talking to Les Taylor about that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment, too, where, where Willie Donaghy, who's a very experienced Scottish international player, comes out to shadow him here. And he shows him the ball and then Back just takes it goes. away from him. Yes, well, we always ask him to at least give us one of those during a game. Uh, he gets into trouble if he doesn't actually give us a sole of the foot movement. And I'm quite serious about that. Yes, we always ask him where his solo for foot movement was in this particular game. Now, that's the balance that we're trying to achieve because there's other things as well. The way things have gone at this club, it, it's, you know, uh, we haven't had too much publicity of late, which has been very good. Maybe we'll start getting a, a bit now. But I think um, we've been very sensible. and I wouldn't swap my management team at this club for any other in the country. I mean, I suppose the time might come when it might be difficult to hold on to them. Yeah, there might be a position uh, uh, that crops up, but... Um, I'm fairly confident, unless it's for the England job, that we manage, might uh, keep it. Unless it's for Real Madrid or something like that. You know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't swap this club. Because in depth, what they've done for the youth side, our reserve team, they're on top of the combination. Um, it's tremendous. We've held out, kept our feet on the ground, and now we're seeing some results at the moment. There's a long way to go yet. 